And welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm glad you could join us today. Today we'll be discussing about distinguishing among the five geographic regions of Georgia in terms of location, climate, agriculture, and economic contribution. So, uh, get to the end of the lesson today. You should be able to, I can, distinguish among the five geographic regions of Georgia. And I'm not going to read that for you. You can read. So, here we are. And here are the five geographic regions of Georgia. We'll start in the north western corner with the Appalachian Plateau, then we have the Ridge and the Valley, the Blue Ridge Mountains, the Piedmont, and the Coastal Plains. Basically, we have a lot of agriculture here. Uh, <laughs> we have a lot of agriculture here. We have some agriculture here. The Ridge and the Valley holds some agriculture, and we also have uh, some mining going on here. Um, we have the Appalachian Mountains, of course, uh, very long mountain range. We're at the tail end of that mountain range. Uh, I'm not going to go into great detail about what each of these regions are and do, but as you can see, if you'll go to the, the Google Slides in your Google Classroom, you can learn all about each of these regions. I figure that you guys can read, so I'm not going to read these to you, uh, but you should be able to read for yourself. and. Um, and know and learn what each of these regions has to do with Georgia in terms of economic impact, where are they located, and kind of what are they known for? What, what's, what's going on there that makes them valuable to Georgia? Um, there are a few other key geographical um, things that we need to look at in uh, Georgia. And there are these. The Chattahoochee River starts here, follows all the way down, becomes the border between Alabama and Georgia. We've got the Savannah River, which is over here. You can't see it, uh, but here it is. It informs the border between South Carolina and Georgia. Um, we've got the Barrier Islands, which are out here on the coast of Georgia. And you can see there's a bunch of them, and they protect Georgia from hurricanes and storms that would come up the coast. Uh, those storms hit those islands first, thus they're called barrier islands because they're a barrier uh, to the, the sea. The Okefenokee Swamps, largest freshwater swamp, I believe, in the country. Uh, and it's down in the, let's see if I can get this back. Hmm. Yes, uh, this, the Okefenokee Swamp is right in this region of Georgia, so that's the south eastern uh, corner, kind of where we have this little, I call it the big toe of Georgia. It's kind of like a toe sticking out there. Uh, right north of that toe is the Okefenokee Swamp, uh, uh, bounded by the St. Mary's River. The St. Mary's River flows right through it. I used to fish in the St. Mary's River, cool place. Uh, but anyway, um, that's basically what you need to know for this standard. I know I went fast, but that's the whole point of videos. I go fast. You can back them up, you can slow them down, you can stop them, you can pause them, you can take notes, and remember to practice on Quizlet before you take your assessment. Thank you for watching.